With a few simple ingredients and normal kitchen gear, you can have a delicious, fresh, homemade citrus soda that glows. Well, technically, it doesn't really emit light, but it does have a very vivid color that's totally natural. Nearly every step of this is something kids can do. The only thing a grown-up needs to handle is the boiling syrup. Here's the base formula I've devised. One part sweet citrus, that's oranges, grapefruits, anything you'd consider eating out of hand. One part sour citrus, lemons, limes, anything that'd be too tart to eat by itself. Two parts glowing syrup, recipe forthcoming, and three parts of club soda or seltzer. Not sparkling water, that's not bubbly enough. And not tonic water, that's usually sweetened, which would throw off the formula, plus kids might not like the bitter note of quinine. Ideally, buy your club soda in these little bottles or cans, because you need it to be maximally fizzy when you mix your soda. A big bottle you open will be flat by the time you use it a second time. For my first soda, I'm going to do pink grapefruit and lime. Before we juice them, we need to zest them and the best tool for that is a microplane grater, but you could use a box grater. You're trying to scrape off the intensely flavorful and colorful outer peel while leaving the bitter white pith underneath. You can do it kind of haphazardly. You don't have to get every single molecule of zest off. But if you want to be thorough about it, scrape down in one long motion, rotate the fruit a little bit, scrape down in another long line. Rotate, repeat. See? If you've left behind any big long strips like that, it's easy to go back and get those. One long scrape. Once you're done, check it out. Most of the zest will be stuck on the underside of the grater. Just tap to get it out. One more time. One long swipe, rotate slightly. Another long swipe, rotate. If you use this method, you'll find that it still leaves a lot of zest around the very top and very bottom. That's easy to go back and get. I'll blast through maybe six of these limes, and then I'll do the grapefruit. Whoops, got to take the sticker off for this. Oils in that zest are just so potent, your kitchen will smell amazing at this point. Citrus is so strong that you can literally use a lemon as a battery. That's another great activity activity to do with kids, and once you've powered up, you can power down with the sponsor of this video, the Black Hole Battery Drainer. Sick and tired of your full battery? Say goodbye to that power with the Black Hole Battery Drainer, officially the world's fastest battery drainer, compatible with any battery-powered device. 100 to 0% in under 15 seconds, power goes in, but it won't come out, guaranteed. And boom, how's it going? Yeah, awesome, why would I want this? Cool, now I can't use my phone at all. And who brings you the black hole battery drainer, which is not a real thing and not actually the sponsor of this video? Why, it's Raid Shadow Legends, the actual sponsor of this video. Seriously, even Old Man Ragusea is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It's the fantasy role-playing game you can download for free on iOS, Android, or PC. Even I need some epic battle from time to time, and boy, does this deliver. It's honestly stunningly made. Every day you log in, you can claim free rewards like energy refills or silver, and that rewards program for new players has been doubled from 90 to 180 days. Go to the description of this vid, follow my links anytime in the next 30 days, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver and a free champion to play, Slasher. You'll see the rewards in your inbox right there. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for their support of me and like every other YouTuber. Seriously, where would we be without you? Okay, we got a nice big pile of zest at this point. Time to make simple syrup. A little pot on the stove. I'll put in a cup of white sugar and a cup of water. No need to stir. Just turn the heat on high and bring this to a boil. If you're doing this with children, be extra careful. Hot syrup is dangerous stuff. As soon as it boils, your sugar is fully dissolved and you can just take it off the heat. Wait until it has stopped bubbling and then put your zest in. If you put in the zest while the syrup is still boiling, it'll turn brown. Gotta wait until the bubbling stops. Now give this a stir and let that sit and steep off the heat while you juice your citrus. You could juice by hand, but that's especially tough with limes. They're kind of hard. So I recommend a reamer, very cheap and effective tool. You'll generally get a cup of juice out of a grapefruit, 240 mils. Always pick up the rind and give it one more squeeze by hand when you're done. There's pockets of stuff in there that the reamer won't reach. The little cup under my reamer is full, so I've got to pour that out. Just get any kind of bowl and put a sieve on top. There's still some pulp in that juice. Strain that through. I need a cup of lime juice to match the cup of grapefruit juice, and I think six limes will do it, but always buy a little extra. A wise man once said, fruit is a gamble. Each one is different, and limes especially can be very juicy or not very juicy at all. Always buy extra. I think I need a seventh one, or do I? Lots of pulp always accumulates on the reamer, and you can kind of reach in with your fingers and squeeze it to get a fair bit more juice out. Strain that in with the grapefruit juice and keep that sieve and spatula. No need to clean them yet. We're going to pass our glowing syrup through there. 
there. Best thing for this next job is a big Pyrex measuring jug. I'm going to lay my sieve on top and note that the handle is kind of jammed into the countertop there. I need both hands on the syrup so I can't be holding the sieve at the same time. It's securely positioned over the jug. One hand pours in the still hot syrup while the other uses a spatula to get out anything that's clinging to the pan and then to press on the zest in the sieve. Push out any remaining syrup that's clinging in there. Alrighty, this is now too hot and too sugary. We'll fix both problems at once by putting in enough ice cubes to give us two total cups of syrup, 280 mils. How much ice you need will depend on how much water you evaporated when cooking the syrup. Just get two total cups. Stir that around and that is now ready to go. Beautiful, very strongly flavored stuff. Okay, let's mix up our first soda. A little ice in the glass, if you so desire. Just eyeball two parts juice and two parts syrup. Then at the last second, crack open a club soda and pour in three parts soda. Soda. But that's just ballpark. You can add things in conservative amounts, mix, and then taste. If it's too sweet, add more juice. If it's too sour, add more syrup. Not bubbly enough, add more club soda. You've got enough raw materials for four standard 12-ounce sodas, plus some extra for making adjustments. Okay, let's do another one. Equal parts orange and lemon this time. You might think that you just want orange, but almost everything orange-flavored that you eat or drink has some additional stronger source of acidity. You mix straight orange with sugar, and it's just drab. It needs some brightening. Everything is zested. Cup of sugar goes in the pan. Cup of water. Bring it to a boil. And believe it or not, a pinch of salt at this point also really improves things, like it improves any sweet. Mass-produced sodas always have some form of sodium, like sodium citrate, which I keep in the house for emulsifying cheese sauces. Half a teaspoon. Not necessary. You could just use a pinch of regular salt. Comes to a boil. Off the heat. Wait for the bubbling to stop. In goes the zest. Stir it around. Get a cup of lemon juice and a cup of orange juice. I ended up needing a third orange because fruit is a gamble. Strain off the juice, then time to strain off the syrup. Squeeze out the last bits, then in goes enough ice to give us two cups of syrup, and there we go. Ice in the glass, two parts juice, two parts syrup, then three parts club soda. Nothing like a real orange soda. Absolutely delicious. Let's do one more. For this one, I'm going to make a half batch, just two sodas worth, and I'm going to use straight limes. That might sound boring and very tart, but I'm going to address both of those concerns. Zest up six to eight limes, in goes half a cup of sugar and half a cup of water. Then let's spice this up. Literally, here's a whole black cardamom pod. You could put all kinds of spices in to boil in the syrup. Go nuts. I'll put in a little pinch of salt, too. The quantity of sodium citrate was much greater because sodium citrate isn't nearly as salty as sodium chloride. Wait for the bubbling to stop and then put in the zest and stir it around. Juice up those limes, looking for a cup of juice total. Strain it off, then strain off the syrup. Press on the solids. In goes enough ice to get one cup total of syrup. Remember, I'm making a half batch. Ice in the glass, two parts juice, two parts syrup, then three parts club soda. And because this is maybe a little too tart, I'll grab a good old maraschino cherry along with some of its fire engine syrup. Stir, taste, adjust. There should be no guesswork here. Add things until you like it. Delicious, refreshing, and fun for young and old alike. Give it a shot. <laughs> 